Hi, welcome to today's video where I'm gonna read as much as I can in 24 hours. It's very windy. I don't know why I chose to video outside. I think because I wanted the sun on my face. I'm currently in the middle of like four books right now. The physical book that I'm in the middle of is Once Upon a Prince. I actually woke up super early to feed this, this little mongoose. And so I actually started reading at like 6.45. So I already have two and a half hours under my belt. It is now 12 o'clock though, and I did fall asleep for another two hours. So <laughs> it pretty much just evened out, but I think I'm gonna listen to an audiobook and try and multitask and do things on my computer because I do have things I need to do today. I need to vote, I need to answer some emails and do some more training for some volunteer work. Yeah, Miss Pippi! Yeah! Just got back from running all of the errands so we voted we picked up some things from maya and then we picked up some food on the way home so gonna eat that i've done about four and a half hours so far so that's okay but it is also like 4 40. i'm gonna have to stay up kind of late and read and my family had two interesting so i want to hang out with them how could they So happy. Liz has been listening to Emma with me. Have you been liking it? I have indeed. 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 <laughs> So I thought I was pretty much finished reading Emma, but it turns out that was only half of the book. So I am now roughly at, i have be at seven hours now, uh, total reading today, which is pretty good. Am I gonna get my goal of 12 hours? I think I wanna read more of my physical book now because I've listened to the audio book for like two and a half hours. Susanna's long-term boyfriend of 12 years just broke up with her when she thought he was about to propose and everything is going wrong for her. She meets this prince, Nathaniel, but she doesn't know that he's a prince straight away. The crazy thing is, is that I'm reading two books at the moment. That's not so crazy. There are crazy similarities between the two books that I'm reading, Once Upon a Prince and A Not So Meet Cute. I'm reading on my phone, so here is the book. But the crazy thing is, is that Susanna, she's quit her job, forced to move out of her house, and all these things are going wrong, and she's got having to figure out how to get past it. And then in a not so meet cute, the main girl, I, I forget her name, Liliana or something, she has lost her job. She is needing to move out in a week, and she is so, so desperate. But uh, what's weird is the juxtaposition in terms of in this one there's like hope and she's like that's okay I trust that like it's gonna turn out all right whereas in this one she's like so desperate she's like oh like I'm just gonna have to marry a rich man surely they'll want me to just sit on their couch all day or she was like oh you know those girls at strip clubs they get a lot of money so maybe I should give that a go and just like the complete difference is just mad granted I understand where a not so me cute is trying to head towards of what I understand is going to be like a fake dating trope of a rich man. It makes sense, but at the same time, well, which one makes me feel better as a person if my life isn't turning out so good? This one actually, I feel like is going to make me feel hopeful and like it's going to turn out and I'm going to be okay and I don't have to become a stripper if. I don't want to, there's always another choice, is what this one is telling me. <laughs> anyway. 
after spending like an hour and a half practicing music for tomorrow because I am auditioning to do the music team for my church and I realized that I hadn't practiced it because I've been having migraines all week and I just wasn't in the mood and I was like no Heidi let's do it now guys, <laughs> we might as well be a part of this chaotic moment. Um, I was in bed reading and it's like almost three o'clock. So I've been just reading all day. You'll be very proud of me. But then I re- oh, wrong way. I'm going this way. There's no traffic, so it's fine. Then I realized, oh my goodness, I've such big bags under my eyes. Okay, take a deep breath, okay? I have an appointment at three o'clock and it is 2.49. <laughs> My sister came in and she was like, are you ever going to get out of this bed? I'm like, I'm reading. I don't have to get out of bed. And then I realized, oh, I'm such a silly Billy. I will get there, hopefully just in time. But if she had, if she had come in 30 minutes later, 15 minutes later, I would have been completely late. So thank you God for that. I, I look like a complete mess, but that's fine. My hair was super cute yesterday. I have these two braids. You can just imagine that it was cute. I feel like I might as well spend this time talking about the books. I finished reading Once Upon a Prince last night. Um, it's actually Monday today, so I kind of like only read for like two hours yesterday and then kind of was gonna actually try and read today. So yeah, I finished Once Upon a Prince, super cute book. I'm giving it four stars. Ow, cut myself from my nail. I feel so random right now. I decided just to do a voiceover because the car is way too loud in this shot but basically the reason why I marked it four stars instead of five was because Susanna and Nathaniel only spent about four weeks together in total and I was like and you're marrying this girl that can be typical in romance books where it can seem a bit fast in terms of the engagements but yeah not my favorite thing. may not look like amazing change of scenery for you guys but I feel like I'm gonna read in the car for a bit plus I'm in like the business district it'll match a not so meet cute because he's rich and it's all about businesses <laughs> it's all about the reading environment <laughs> Guys, I really can't believe it. I finished another book. So I finished A Not So Meet Cute. It had dual perspective, so we got to see both Hux Huxley, I think his name is, and also, I just spent six hours with these people today. <laughs> How do I not know their names? Lottie. It's because they're weird. So Huxley and Lottie, we got both their perspectives, which was super cute. I loved seeing both their perspectives especially because there was kind of angry like against each other at the start and then to lovers obviously and so being able to see that transition and who fell first and oh it was so cute definitely a spice warning for this one i did skip over a couple things but that is preference obviously there were quite explicit scenes so just be aware of that if um that uh, matters to you but yeah, I was not expecting to like this book that much. Like I really just was all encompassed in it. Uh, so I still have time left for the challenge. So, oh, why not? I'm just gonna jump straight into the Hawthorne legacy. <laughs> One book about rich people to another book about rich people. Because if you don't know anything about this, this is the second book in the Inheritance Games series. And the first one is about this girl, uh, Avery, I think her name is, who inherits this billion dollar estate from this grandfather that died and she didn't know the man like at all the hitch is, is that she has to live there for a year with all of these grandsons that are making her life difficult it says on the back one step forward two steps back secrets to die for i'd always just think of always one step forward and two three steps back i'm just feeling really cheery right now <laughs> I just want to say, I just love singing. It just makes me happy. Anyway, maybe you're cringed out by how cheery I am. Or maybe you love it. I don't know. I think I was feeling really sad before. And I don't know why I feel like smiling so much. I just, yeah. It feels good. 
Feels good to smile. Here's your reminder to smile. Even if you're not feeling like smiling, just try and put on a smile. But if you don't, that's okay too, because I was feeling really sucky yesterday. Let's get into this book. when I'm not in the mood. Well, not when I'm not in the mood, but when I'm feeling depressy. But I've only read 16 hours for this challenge. I thought I was gonna be doing so well, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be like that. I did do some paintings though, do you wanna say? I did one here and then one here. Yay. And I only read a little bit of this book. Yay. I do feel like defeated that like I didn't get like, I've hardly done anything. And also, like, that's not the only thing that. I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, finish up this challenge. I will, but it'll be, like, really slow. Just because, like, I can't see myself pushing through to do tons of reading tonight. I'm not gonna get eight hours of reading done tonight. I just hate feeling this way. So maybe I'll read some more and see what happens. This, otherwise, this might be the end of the vlog because I'm just not feeling great. That happens. I'm human. Sometimes we have good days, sometimes we have bad days. 